Hello again, and welcome to another Time Sticking YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing thermocompensated quartz movements and how they affect high accuracy quartz movements generally. So stick with us through this intro, and we're going to be having a look at this interesting aspect of watch engineering. To get started, a recent announcement from Citizen has been boasting the most accurate wristwatch in the world to come out later in 2019. This wristwatch has been rocking the horological world for some months now. Citizen's caliber 0100 watch movement has achieved a pretty accurate feat. Without atomic time, it only gains or loses one second a year. Before this, Citizen held the same title of most accurate watch in the world for their Chronomaster EcoDrive wristwatch. That particular time teller was accurate down to plus or minus five seconds per year. Reaching insane levels of accuracy, many of Citizen's competitors, including Longines and Seiko, managed to achieve similar precision. But how do these companies achieve this accuracy in timekeeping? The answer is in their uniquely designed thermocompensated quartz movements. Thermocompensated quartz movements function pretty similarly to regular quartz movements, with a few key differences that we're gonna go over here with you. As one may or may not know, the piezoelectric or pressure-driven electricity power of quartz watches is what keeps them running. The regular oscillations or vibrations of the quartz crystals in battery watches are what already give them a higher level of accuracy compared to mechanical watches. Every quartz crystal in a watch consistently oscillates 32,768 times every second. Like the escape lever of a mechanical watch, the electronics of a quartz movement unlock the power generated by a quartz crystal causing regular ticks. The relationship of all these parts can be affected by variations in ambient temperature. Although this has spawned suggestions from quartz manufacturers to keep a watch on for up to 12 hours a day to keep the quartz crystal at a regular-ish temperature, thermocompensating cuts on quartz crystals can and do reduce temperature fluctuations in the watch. Essentially, the way a watch crystal is cut or oriented inside of the movement can mitigate some of the effects of temperature wear and tear. This is nothing new to a lot of folks who manufacture electronics generally. However, quartz wrist watches typically have tuning fork cut shaped crystals. This has worked well to carry a tradition in electronic watches generally that's tried and true for general mass production. Thermocompensating cuts on crystals, on the other hand, though they take a bit more precision cutting to manufacture, keep the oscillating crystal in better overall harmony with a quartz watch's circuitry. By balancing thermodynamic pressure, the electric signals inside of the watch do not wear as easily due to outside temperature variations. The most effective of these cuts is the AT cut on quartz watches. These cuts aren't new per se to electronic mechanisms, but appear to be a pretty recent phenomenon in wristwatch manufacturing, especially within HAQ or high accuracy quartz movements. Boasting the highest grades of accuracy, featuring thermocompensated quartz movements, are the world's HAQ watches. Their accuracy ranges from plus or minus 15 seconds per year, which is already pretty amazing, all the way down to plus or minus one second per year, once Citizen releases its caliber 0100 to the public. Though the majority of these watches are coming from Japanese manufacturers, luxury Swiss brands are also coming into the ring with some HAQ heavy hitters. With so many autonomously accurate, meaning without atomic time, watches hitting the market, we hope to highlight more of these pieces as we continue to post on the subject of thermocompensated design work in watchmaking. Thermocompensation is a way for quartz manufacturers to compete with the complexity of mechanical movements in terms of overall watch design and prowess on the world stage. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.